Well, I wanted to save this for my 10 subscriber v or 10 subscriber vlog, not vlog, but um, circumstances change. Hey, senpais, it's me, WG Deadman, and welcome to my first ever um, chatting with the dead man. This is what I'm going to be doing um, if I want if I'm wanting to you know talk to you guys about something that's been going on, or if I just want to just you know vent or rant and you know have you guys share your thoughts on it in general. Uh, but something, some weird things have come up. I'm I have two things. One is you know it's actually good news. Uh, something that's going to be happening tomorrow. Hopefully um, that'll actually change. It's, it's something I'm getting in the mail. Um, it's gonna be changing how I'm gonna be commentating, uh, on my gameplay. Hopefully it'll help, um, and hopefully it'll change a lot of things. Um, the second thing is... It's... It's... I can't really tell... <clears throat> excuse me. I can't really tell if it's bad news or... Or if it's good... Or, well, not good news. I can't really tell if it's bad news or troubling news. Um, where we, we'll, ha we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, due to, you know, tradition, you know, let's go ahead, you know what, let's go ahead and get the good news out of the way first. Let's go ahead and get the good before we get to the bad and or ugly. Uh, good news is, um, thanks to the help with, uh, Getsu, with Getsuka Tensho 86, um, if you remember him, he was in my first ever, um, multiplayer, you know, collab, uh, video of me and him playing Call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies on, on, uh, Verruckt, and he's one of my greatest friends ever. Um, I trust him with my life completely. He helps me out. He helps him get through a lot of serious times. And I am ever so grateful for that. I honestly cannot, without a doubt, you know, uh, be thankful for where I am to get into me now. Because he's one who helped me get um, a new new micro SD card to capture footage on my Avermedia. Because the one I had was only 2 gigabyte, and that wasn't even nearly enough of uh, footage I need, or enough uh, of, or enough memory to capture the footage I need, and two, um, he got me a piece of the got me an audio cable which I needed for my Avermedia to um, record uh, my my commentary and mixing it with his commentary and have our um, have him still be able to hear me. Um, so again, I I can't thank him enough for that. Uh, and now he's actually pitched in to get us both new gaming headsets because he, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I just, but I somehow talked uh, him into getting his very own Avermedia. <clears throat> and I just think that's awesome because he, I think he was just really jealous about how, how, you know, how well, how my videos are looking and how incredibly well I'm actually doing starting off as a YouTube channel. And you know, I'm, I'm actually great. I'm not, you know, I'm not partnered with YouTube or anything yet. I'm mainly only doing this as a hobby, but with how things are turning out, with eight, with eight of you guys behind, just backing me up and behind me, I cannot thank that enough. You guys are awesome. You guys are incredible. That is why you guys are truly my senpais, and I honestly cannot thank you enough for that. Uh, you're basically making this even more fun for me, and you're giving me a purpose to actually want to keep doing this, because I someday want to be partnered with YouTube and, you know, become a full-fledged Let's Player. I am a Let's Player of sorts. Um, I know I'm not the best, and I, but I'm not, I'm certainly not the worst, that's, that's for certain. Um, there are worse. There are, there are the bad out there, believe me. Um, I know I've talked to a lot of people about them, and, you know, they, they agree. Um, so yes, we're getting new headsets, and those should be coming in tomorrow, and, um, I, I shall, no, actually no, I won't, I won't be recording my voice like this, and I won't be uploading this or anything, but, um, that will, that will be tomorrow. Um, expect, uh, new audio quality from me, uh, first thing tomorrow, well not first, first thing tomorrow, but you get the idea. Um, now, now, uh, I really don't want to be talking about this, but, um, even if I do, I'm actually now thinking, now that I'm thinking, um, if I do get the headset, when I do get my headset tomorrow, the thing is that I probably will not be recording and uploading any videos, um, I, I, uh, for either for the rest of today and maybe, maybe not tomorrow. Reason why is that... 
just yesterday at on Friday. <clears throat> this this is gonna be going up today, Saturday. Um, that my sis, I, I got a call from my sister that she told me that she had to take our mother to the hospital. That right there just hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, I asked her what was wrong, and she told me that she may or may not have to get her appendix removed because she's feeling stomach pain, and we don't know what. Uh, weird thing about it is that, you know, if she needs to get her appendix removed, fine. You know, it'll, they'll get rid of any more problems in the future that we might need to have. Um, she took her in, got a, got a CT, or, you know, the layman's term, a CAT scan to, um, to take a look over her body, you know, from head to toe. She went through that, and, um, my sister came back, you know, came over to my place to, ch to talk and chat for a bit, and she told me that the, the CT scan results came back negative, you know, everything was fine in there, um, but in, you know, it wasn't her appendix or anything, you know, we don't honestly know that. And so I'm thinking she may have colon or pancreatic cancer. But now I'm thinking is that if she did have colon and pancreatic cancer, wouldn't that wouldn't that show up on the CT scan? I'm not really a full expert on that. Um, I, I'm just hoping that uh, you guys will give me someone will give me confirmation on it. I'll do my research on it and you know just see what I can do and dig up so I can uh, comfortably sleep at night. I have not been sleeping well, as you can possibly tell in my commentary. I know my commentary is starting to get. A little lazy and a little bit tired. I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to, you know, get plenty more sleep. I've only been getting a few hours. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's troubling. These are troubling times we live in. They're not bad. They're just troubling. Just kind of like the situation I'm in right now. Um, but the thing is, though, is that she also got blood drawn, and I'm thinking if she was tested positive for cancer, the blood results, the blood, t the blood test results would have came back you know, right then and there. They should have. Um, that is becoming, uh, cancer testing is becoming a first priority, you know, right now for doctors and hospitals. And another thing is that if you're getting blood work done, the doctor said wait till Monday. We got the work done on Friday, pretty fucking early, mind you. And now they're saying, oh, you gotta wait till Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday the latest. What the fuck? My mother could be dying by then. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm trying to think positive on here, saying, oh, the CT scan results came back negative. Okay, that's good. But if there's something else seriously wrong with her that can only be deciphered from her blood, you, sir, are a fucking dick, and you need to tell me what's wrong. I, that's another, th that's, that's the thing I'm wanting to talk about a lot. Everybody that I know is keeping me out of the loop of things, and I'm sick of it. What did I do to get, you know, left behind on that? I, I'm... I'm not angry at all by it. I know everyone else has their own lives in their family. I know we all have our own responsibilities. But if there's something wrong with my blood relative, the person, the one who gave birth to me, the one who raised me and took care of me and gave me all the love that she could ever give to a child and raised me right to be the man I am today and the man that you are witnessing before you, then I will fight tooth and nail to get every fucking single piece of information to know what is wrong with my mother and what can we do to help her to get her fixed up and cured. But no. We have to wait. Earliest is Monday. The latest is Tuesday. That is bullshit. That is... That's disgusting. That is ridiculous. I cannot believe that. Um... But yes, we got our blood results, and on Monday, they are wanting to sift through my mother's stool to see if there's anything wrong with that. Usually with stomach pain, um, you usually have to go through that. You usually have to give a stool sample to doc to your doctors. They'll sift through it, and they'll give you the results back to see if there's anything wrong. But personally, though, I'm thinking if the blood test results are, um, are waiting to be, you know, gone through and confirmed... If it was cancer, they would have told us right away. If it wasn't, they would have just, you know, they would be doing more tests to see if they could rule anything out. I, although I did talk to my sister about it and she, and about whether she has colon or pancreatic, of pan, colon or pancreatic cancer. She says, no, but we can't rule that out. Really? This is your own fucking mother. The one who raised us both. The one who, who taught us to be, be responsible adults. 
This is the person that gave her love more than anyone else in our family. And you are just wanting to just throw that all away and assume that she has cancer. No. I'm not I'm not going to assume. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to talk about it. No. I'm just going to wait till Monday to hear the results and hope to god you know the blood the blood tests came back negative. If they did, oh my god, I will be livid. I will be happy. Um the thing I'm wondering though is that could she be, you know, could she be constipated? Usually stomach pain does come from constipation. Can, you know, stem from constipation and, you know, I'm thinking okay, maybe she needs to um, you know, work that out. Or does she have something else wrong with her? Nothing fatal or anything. The thing I got from my sister was a copy of stuff on this uh, from the hospital called phleboliths. What they are is that they are basically um, kidney stones, but in your pelvic and your stomach. Weirdest thing though is that they cannot be um, differentiate from X-rays. They cannot be told from the X-rays. It's just not that way. It's basically just a ball of like veiny fleshy looking grossness that just builds up in her stomach and can cause stomach pain. Um, through these, through this little packet, it's not deadly, um, but from what I can tell, where the phleboliths can occur is that, I'm, I'm reading this word for word from this paper, in addition to your pelvic region, they can also occur in your, including, in, which can occur, including, but not, but not following, kidney, stomach, intestine, and, and esophagus. Uh, the symptoms are pain in the abdomen, lower back, or pelvis area, and is similar to kidney stone pain. Thrombo thrombosis, which can cause your blood to slow down. Varicose conditions in the veins in your pelvic region. Warmth at the site and swelling and redness may occur. Um, there are a number of causes, really, for this. Um, if I can get a grip on this packet here. There we go. Uh, they can be caused from varicose veins. Pressure in the veins and injuries to the vein wel walls can cause urinary, urinary phleboliths. Liver disease can cause lack of blood flow, resulting in the formation of phleboliths in the veins of your intestines, stomach, and other organs in your abdominal cavity. Bowel movements caused by straining can increase the pressure within the tubes and veins of your abdominal organs. Diver diverticular disease can, all can cause overworked and extra stress on your muscles, led to increased pressure in the tubes of your colon, and can lead to the development of phleboliths. Or long car rides, airplane flights, post-surgery immobilization. That right there struck me, because just recently, my mom just had to get uh, leg sur get surgery on her right on her left knee, and she was kind of out of action for some time. And you no, know, she she did eat and she did drink, you know, normally, but um, she was in she was remaining in bed a lot from it. And I'm thinking this could be it. This could be the thing. If these are phleboliths, then thank God they are not fatal. We can actually do stuff to treat them. Or, or sitting a lot. I'm sitting right now. That's starting to worry me, but I'm fine. Um, having the presence of blood blitz can also be a warning sign that you may, you have a severe condition like collectoral hemangiomas. I think I said that right. Or benign tumors growing in your body. The masses of phleboliths can also could also indicate that you have tumors of the gastrointestinal tract or stomach cancer. That right there is is scaring me a little bit right now. It is possible for the deeper phleboliths clots to turn into an embolism, which is an obstruction in a blood vessel because of a blood clot. Treatment. Treating phleboliths is easy. P applying a warm cloth to the area of pain helps a lot. You should also make sure that you are elevating the area above your heart so less blood is forced to the area. Let's move on to the next page here. You should always try to move around as much as you can. When out on long car rides, you should stop every couple of hours so you can get out and stretch your legs. If you have a job that requires you to sit and work, stand up, move around occasionally, and at break or on lunch, take a walk. If playing video games, get up and move every couple of hours. I'm moving a lot. Um, when you see your physician for this condition, they will normally prescribe anti-inflammatory medications, which is an important medication when treating phleboliths. Although most are harmless, it is important to treat it in any symptoms immediately to avoid any complications later. Prevention. There are several things you can do to help prevent phleboliths from forming, which include... These are weird ones. Well, the first two are very weird. The last one is just incredibly weird. Uh, avoid prolonged periods of inactivity. That's easy. Just move around whenever you need to. Drink lots of fluids daily to avoid dehydration. I do that a lot. I even drink water during my Let's Plays. You probably noticed it. 
Um, or avoid wearing tight clothing. I did notice my mom wearing, you know, tight, you know, capris and everything. I'm going to tell my mom to wear a little bit more loose-fitting jeans and some shorts. I know she works overnight at um, a Walmart neighborhood market here in town, where I live in, and she works as an overnight manager. She is on her feet a lot, um, and she's not, I don't think she's able to wear shorts. I'm thinking she can wear it like a blouse or something, something loose, something, you know, breezy to wear, something that she can move freely about in, and I'm wanting her to do that. Um, but yes, the, she could be having this. She could be having flebolis, which, which, knowing that they are easy to treat and everything else, that is good. They are, but we have not ruled that bit out yet, so that is a good thing. I'm hoping that that is what she's going through right now. Um, I will be helping her out through that, which that would lead me. The only video I'm going to be recording, it, or the only upload, I'm going to be uploading today is this chatting with the dead man and um, Jeff Force Gemini which that was just uploaded this morning um, go ahead and check it out I'll leave it here on the end card at the very end um, you know I'm this is I'm gonna be helping out my mom throughout this for this for the rest of this weekend I'm I'm very sorry to get you know to give you guys this information I may try to record something tomorrow with my headset that is a maybe it is a 50 50 chance I may or may not if her condition just gets worse tomorrow leading up you know before leading up to the results I'm 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 certainly fucking not going to I'm certain as fuck not going to be recording I'm going to be getting her to the hospital I'm going to be helping her out with all this I'm going to be doing everything in my power to you know get her the help she needs um but yes I'm everything with me is fine I'm not hurt I'm not injured I'm just wanting to take care of my mom make sure she's healthy and make sure she's living a really making sure she's living a long healthy and happy life as with me being a mama's boy, <laughs> that's kind. Of, that's kind of like that's kind of what I signed up for. I love my mom. I love her, you know, with all of my heart and all of my being. I don't. I hate it when she's going through with this stuff. I just want to feel the same pain she is, so she isn't alone on it. But knowing that she has something that can be treated very easily, and very very quickly, that 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 gives me a sign of hope. But you know. As with as with we all say as when we all say you know hope for the best but expect for the worst, I'm doing that right now and I tell you it's this week this weekend could be better. Anyway, and anyway I hope you guys are having a good weekend involving with this or not involving with this. Um, you know it's just it's unfortunate but I'm gonna get through it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to me ramble and vent and give out my first, my, sort of my first vlog, but my first thing I'm going to be doing on here called Chatting with the Dead Man. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever Chatting with the Dead Man, um, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for eight subscribers, for eight of you guys. That is incredible so far, even for my first month of doing this, um, my, and very early as well. I never expected to get eight of you guys this early, you know, at all. Um... <clears throat> But I, again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart uh, for this, because I, this is making my, this is making my experience as, you know, becoming a Let's Player and a YouTuber here on YouTube a lot more fun and a lot more rewarding than I thought it would be, and you guys are helping me out with that. I thank you so much for it. Um, but yeah, this is unfortunate. We're, you know, what's really wrong with her? We'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, I, again, I'm sorry for the, I'm, you know, for this bit of news right here. <clears throat> things like this come up, and throughout my life, a lot of things are going to be coming up. And I will give you guys this, or if I'm just wanting to vent, and, you know, like I said, if I'm wanting to vent or rant, you know, through the, throughout videos, or, you know, throughout some stuff, I will, uh, I will go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I will go ahead and immediately do that. I will try my best to do... Um, whatever I can in my power to make her make her better, make her happy, make her feel better. Um, which is why you'll see the lack of uploads this weekend. <clears throat> but as always, if you guys if you guys enjoyed listening to this, go ahead and hit go ahead and hit that like button. It'll really help me out. If you guys have anything have any thoughts about you know have any thoughts to share, if you guys want to give out give your condolences, or if you just want to say hi, let me know right down below in the comments. And if you guys want to see more content, more great content that is more up and happy than this, or if you just want to see me suffer with my Games I Hate series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, right score on the nuzzle. 
This is WG Deadman saying, guess what? You just chatted with a dead man. Kudos. As always, I will see you all on the flip side. Later!